quit Rachel and all of them. They're not here. You have to turn back in. I A city of early risers. Brewston is waking up. We all like to get up and get with it early in the morning. As usual, Betty Bradford's manning the kitchen at the country corner. I had a good mama. <laughs> I had a mama that taught me how to cook. I just love the people. I can almost tell you what they're going to eat when they walk in the door. And that means knowing how they take their coffee, how crispy they like their bacon. Everybody around knows me. Everybody knows I'm a big eater. <laughs> Where you're at? The familiar is a valued thing place that's lost so many neighbors. They just not work hardly around here anymore. They just become a ghost town. They don't feel good at all. Well, there's just no opportunity for order up. There's just no opportunity for the younger people in the town because there's no industry coming in. This right here used to be an old beauty shop and then the adjacent to it was a little shoe repair shop. Brad Hurley of the Carroll County Chamber of Commerce remembers a very different time. Well, that was the old days when you would walk over here, you'd get a ham sandwich, and you would charge it to your grandparent. It was a time so many punched in their carts for garment and apparel manufacturer, the Henry I. Siegel Company, HIS. This was a booming little town back when HIS was here. Well, it was just like one family, you know. Now, this fella here worked at HIS. Well, actually, I did used to work there. For good people to work for is a good company. It pretty much was a community. It was, wasn't it, Dwayne? HIS has been closed nearly 17 years. But you have to realize HIS at one time employed about 1,700 people. It was a family-owned company. They elected to go public. They went to, ended up going to Mexico. Not only did they leave, they filed bankruptcy. During those time period they were in bankruptcy, those buildings continued to deteriorate. So Brewston wakes up early to give a trim, a pack of smokes, a plate of eggs. People heading to work somewhere else. Jackson or Lexington or something. I would love to be busy again. <laughs> you know, it was at one time when when we was just bam, 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 it was just crazy. But it's not just about the empty chairs. When her husband passed away, Betty tried to sell the restaurant. But that's not how things went. Couldn't sell it. I had a couple people to come in to lease it out, but that didn't work out. But Betty didn't want this to happen to her country corner. There's so many empty buildings in Brewston. I didn't want it to go down, so started it back up myself. According to the Tennessee Manufacturers Association, many thriving communities center around motor vehicles, food, beverage, and tobacco, and chemical products. But through shifts over the years, garment, apparel, and textiles, once so vital to places like Brewston, are no longer in Tennessee's top 10 manufacturing sectors. Manufacturers of garments, you know, is just about all sent out of the country. U.S. Department of Labor even claims a nationwide 85% drop for apparel manufacturing since 1990. Nearly 20 years since the loss of HIS comes a step forward for Brewston. New Civic Plaza and new businesses are slated to arrive. Order. You want your community to be successful. You want your community to, to you know, have income. <laughs> so with morning pouring in the windows, coffee pouring in cups. Order up. Residents like Betty keep getting up early, never slowing, waiting for a new day in Brewston. Every community in this country has to be prepared to go through change. We got hit hard, we fell down, but now we're back up pedaling just as hard as we can. In Brewston, I'm Forrest Sanders, Channel 4 News.